when we announced the very first managed WooCommerce hosting, people were like, well, what is it? Let me go check it out. And they went to the page and what they saw, right, was $250 a month and they freaked out. There were people writing comments on, on Facebook going, $250, I can get DigitalOcean for $5 a month. And, and we said, y yes, you can. Because we built the original plans for stores that needed high performance hosting, stores that were already getting good amount of traffic. We weren't talking to people who were doing $5, let's try it out concept stores on DigitalOcean. That wasn't where we were going. And in fact, the people that complained about $250 a month, right, were clearly not people that needed what we were offering. Right, Because our analytics, the reporting from glue.io, the automatic segmentation was for stores that had not only a lot of traffic, right, but they were literally trying to process through all that reporting to figure out well, who do I sell next to and what do I sell them, right? And if you went to glue.io directly, you were getting charged $299. So it, we were offering an incredible value at $250 a month. And yet there were still people going, wait, 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 but I'm, I'm not ready for that. And we said, that's no problem. But we started there figuring out, well, what would we have to do to give you high performing infrastructure to make sure we had the deals right for our plugins and themes, right? Astro, which is the fastest WooCommerce theme out there. Beaver Builder, which is the best page builder out there. Uh, Jilt, which is incredible for cart abandonment, right? How do we bring those when to a to a lower price offering so that people could just get started, right? People who had this idea for a store. If you were an internet personality, you had a blog already, and you wanted to add a, a printify or printful integration for a store to sell t-shirts and hats, how could we help them, right? It, that's not a $250 a month solution. You need something different. How do you help stores that are just figuring out, or they're currently looking at, at WooCommerce or Shopify? Right? And they see that $25, which by no one ever pays $25 to Shopify, right? Because by the time you start adding things in, you're paying $90 a month plus 2% on transaction fees. And we said, How, what, what would it look like for us to help people who are just getting started? Beginners who are just spinning up something. We would get almost every week, we'd get some people who say, well, do you have a trial or do you have something where I can check it out? And so we started working on it. And today we've announced a new beginner plan. $39 a month, no transaction fees, $39 a month. Now it doesn't come with glue, but you don't need it. You don't need advanced segmentation when you have next to no orders, you're just getting started. You're testing a store concept out. You're building your first store. You don't need that. And yet it comes with almost everything else, right? It comes with Jilt though, you get less engaged contacts, so less emails go out, but everything else, plugins, themes, everything we were giving you in the standard plan comes with it. And you go, wait, that doesn't make sense. How could you do it? Right. You must be giving me, is it on a shared environment? Nope. Nope. I'm not, I'm not jamming. Like if you go to many other places, you'll get 5,000 stores put on a server and we'll say, oh, we'll charge you 15, $20. You go, nope, we're not talking about high density shared. You're talking about dedicated infrastructure in the same way that we do our $250 plan. So how do you make that work? Well, we do have to manage how it plays out. And so we created two options for you, right? It's a constraining factor, but it's two options, either unlimited orders, but that means you have to have a constrained catalog, right? You have a catalog of up to 15 products, but unlimited orders or unlimited catalog, right? But constrained orders, 150 transactions a month. Now, if you're just getting started, you look at both those and you go, yeah, that's no problem. I mean, if I'm getting a hundred orders a month, right, with good revenue, I can actually step up into other tiers of plans. But what you don't want to do is spend a lot of money when you don't know if your store is going to take off. When you're just getting started, you want a place where you can try it out, right? Well, that's what our beginner plans for. And I can't wait for you to check it out because I think you're going to love it.